Hey everybody, DSJ here, and welcome to the third episode of Talking Anime. Today, I might as well go right back to Dragon Ball, but this time I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z, but not the series as a whole. I'm talking about one of my favorite arcs in that anime. And I'm talking about the Cell Games arc. Only the part that deals with the Cell Games. Not, you know, the Android. Not the Android arc, because I kind of don't care. But if anybody knows about this art, this is the one art that cemented Gohan as one of my favorite characters. I mean, you know, Goku was there, and some of the other Z Warriors, and we got Hercule, Chi Chi of protectiveness, but of all honesty, the reason why I love this art is so much the fact this is the one time that Gohan became a man. I understand where he come I understand where he come from as a character. He doesn't always want to fight. He wanna live peacefully. He wanna live peacefully. He wanna study but he don't want to deal with his old parent mother all the time. But he respect his mom. Hey, you know, Gohan's a smart kid. Very smart. But, when it comes to people he loves, and they're in danger, he flips the fuck out. I mean, granted, we've seen it when he was very young, but it was uncontrollable then. But when it, but as soon as he saw the head of Android 16 get crushed up by Cell's foot, Gohan just fucking lost it and unlocked the power that Goku and the Vegeta could do at the time. And when he became Super Saiyan 2, he wrecked everyone's shit. But it's not about his power. That was amazing with his art. It's also a sense of humility on top of that too. Because remember, he also got cocky. Because he could have just killed Cell outright. And Goku would have still been alive after it was over. But he got too damn cocky. And kind of got, how should I put this fucking sadistic? Just saying he just want to play with Cell a little bit more so Cell could suffer. But as soon as he got cocky, he ended up doing one move. And he was about to blow up the earth. And it took his father to warp Cell from planet Earth. I want to blow King Kai's planet and, well, King Kai and Bubbles and, Bubbles and Gregory. Yes, I ain't figure about Gregory or Bubbles, but still, the, the fact that Gohan seen that happen and then on top of that cell came back, it was a rude awakening for him. Because here's the thing, and anybody who read a lot of Spider-Man comics, great power comes it comes with great responsibility it could be any more truer for Gohan and then the fact that he realized he fucked up and yes he felt powerless anybody who fuck up that big would feel that way and you can't help but to feel that way but at the same time it actually took a pep talk of his father's spirit somehow to snap him out of it for him to finish the job. And seeing that father son Kamehameha, let me make sure I pronounce it right, and finish it off for good, you 
have to admit, seeing those moments during that arc, Gohan, that was Gohan's peak. And I say that with utmost admiration, but at the same time, when it came to the Majin Buu um, saga, oh god. I say that with disappointment too. Because, let's be honest, Toriyama wanted Gohan to be the main character of the team. But, everybody loved Goku. Everybody loved that happy go lucky Goku. Seeing what they did to him in episode 42 was super. <clears throat> you know what? Let's fuck that episode for now. But still. But seriously, Gohan should have been the hero of Z from the start. And pretty much from the beginning all the way up until the Cell Games arc, he grew up. He grew as a character. And no one could really deny that. Not even his mother could deny him that. Granted, she was sad at the fact that he did not get the credit that he deserved. Earth, you get all the credit. <laughs> but guess what? Guess who he fucking married? Like a boss. Yes, yes, Hercule. He took your daughter. And his daughter could fight better than you. But at the same time, even Hercule even grew up later and realized that yeah, he needs to see warriors. <laughs> and, well, hell. Dang, I went off the tangent. I was talking, supposed to talk about um, Gohan when he was in the cell arc, and I just went into Gohan's future. Which, honestly, if you if you hear me, for the love of God, stop making Gohan a pussy, please. He is strong, and you know that. I understand he he wanted to be a scholar. Hell, I'm like this. I'm a nerd too. That's why I sympathize with this character. He's silent, shy, timid, but will protect everything he loves at all costs. Do not make him a pussy in the future. Please don't. If you're using Super to completely retcon GT out of existence, please make Gohan stronger. Please. And at the same time, I also have the Dale fight again. I would love that too. But, wow, I just went into a whole another rant. But, but seriously, that's why Gohan was my favorite character until they did what they did to him. But you know what? I'm not going to give up on Gohan as a character because there might be a time in the future that he's truly going to be needed again. Not to get killed off like the history of Trunks. Not to get killed off un it's unceremoniously like it did in the Majin Buu saga. But he's going to be needed as a hero once again. Granted, the future on uh, the history of Trunks. Yeah, he was more of. How should I put this? He did make a noble sacrifice. He did die ceremoniously, but it was still kind of fucking unfair how they did him, but still. Let's make Gohan great again. Make that a hashtag. Anyway, this was Talking Anime. See you guys next time. Maybe not a different anime, but I'm not gonna lie. I could talk about Dragon Ball Z all day if I'm if I want to, but still. There's other anime I do need to talk to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna revisit Dragon Ball in the future though. See you guys later.